The ICNAR and ICITRA programs, which aim to provide affected members with supplemental income to cater for their subsistence needs amidst the present crisis, is not heavily impacting the employees' provident funds investment at the moment. Chief Strategy Officer Nurhisham Hussain said the fund has a plan in terms of managing the liquidity as well as the cash flow of EPF. Date. For ICNAR, Nurhisham said a sum of RM 56.7 billion has been paid from the total approved amount of RM 58.8 billion. For ICITRA program, he said, which was estimated at RM 30 billion payment, a total of RM 2.3 billion has been disbursed out of the RM 19 billion approved amount from 4.57 million applications. Meanwhile, he said EPF strategic asset allocation is taking into account the financial crisis and market downturn, which would be able to withstand future shocks or economic uncertainty. Meanwhile, he said EPF strategic asset allocation is taking into account the financial crisis and market downturn, which would be able to withstand future shocks or economic uncertainty. <laughs> 